Uh, as I said, my name is Larry, and I'm an engineer at Glue Mobile. We make casual mobile games for your iOS and Android devices. Uh, and today I'm going to be talking about how to build an automated trading bot. Uh, now, before I jump into that, I just want to mention that we are also hiring. Uh, the gaming industry doing great. Everyone's playing games at home. Uh, so Glue Mobile is a great company, and I work at the CrowdStar Studio. Uh, we make some very popular game titles. Uh, one interesting thing is that over 90% of our games are all, all the players are women. And so, uh, so here are some of our top games. We make Covet Fashion, Design Home, Diner Dash, and Kim Kardashian Hollywood. And they're some of the top grossing uh, games on the App Store. So if you're interested in that, uh, go to glue.com and can check it out. Uh, or you can hit me up directly. All right. So um, let's talk about uh, automated training bots. So this is something I kind of work on in my spare time. So a lot of times you hear these days that uh, uh, a lot of the activity in the stock market is actually not done by individuals, you know, clicking buy and sell. Uh, you hear about a lot of these algorithmic trading bots that are going on. They might be made by someone like Goldman Sachs or something. And uh, yeah, why would you want to make one of those? Well, uh, there, you could be drawn to it for a few reasons. First, you know, you have this idea that you'll get rich quick, right? So you want to write a Python uh, program and you think, You've detected some pattern in the stock market and you can use that pattern and execute trades for yourself and you think it'll make you a lot of money uh, really quickly. So uh, yeah, the idea is that you can automate some kind of trading strategy and extract some, kind of, some amount of money by buying and selling stocks frequently. Uh, another reason it's interesting is because uh, it's an inter interesting intellectual exercise. It involves a lot of data analysis, uh, data visualizations, and also uh, writing programs that analyze that data and also kind of has an intersection with finance and business, which is a very uh, interesting topic of its own. Um, but uh, one of the main reasons you might want to do this, I think, is to eliminate uh, emotions. So a lot of times whenever, if you've had investments, especially recently, or in, let's say the year 2008 or March of 2020, uh, you've seen them go down you know, dramatically and suddenly. And a lot of times what happens is people panic and they sell all their assets often at the wrong time, right? And so the idea is that a computer program, if you set up with your rules for investing, it could automatically buy and, ex and, ex buy and sell and execute and manage your money. And if you're able to do that, the program won't uh, you know, sell, it, sell all your stocks at the wrong time and won't act on emotion. It will be instead acting on some rules that you've created in advance. So um, how do you actually do that? So uh, I found this wasn't very well documented. Uh, you hear about these bots, but not a lot of people are explaining how to do it. And so over the last few months, like six months, I kind of started looking on how to do this and I put together uh, how you would actually go about doing this. So uh, there's a few things you're gonna need. So if you dive into it, uh, you first you need data. And so you can get a data set from a variety of sources. So uh, sure, you could program a bot and just put it out there and let it run with real money, but usually you wanna test the idea first. So usually you get some kind of data set, right? And so there's a variety of sources. So Yahoo Finance, even though you might not be using it for search too much these days, right? Uh, they actually have a lot of financial data out there. And there's a Python packages like Y Finance that let you uh, download that data in a snapshot for like 20 years of data for the S&P 500 or something. You can download to that to a CSV and start analyzing it. And there's also APIs provided by third company parties, third party companies like uh, Polygon, IEX Cloud, a whole bunch of these, right? The next thing you want is uh, looking at years and years of data in a data set is actually, you know, it's hard to look at with your eyes, but ne the next thing you want to do is visualize your data. And so uh, with any open source plotting library like Matplotlib or Plotly or a web UI like TradingView, you can actually uh, pipe all this open, high, low, close uh, finance data into uh, one of these libraries and make a nice chart that lets you look at years of data at a time. And based on those years of data, right, you might develop some kind of strategy. So you notice some kind of pattern that you want to build a trading strategy on. Um, a couple examples you might use are uh, trend following. So maybe you notice Apple stock has been on a steady trend over time and you decide you want to buy trending stocks that consistently go up, right? And so you just find stocks that follow like a constant upward pattern, right? Or you could do a mean reversion strategy and use an indicator like RSI, for instance, which is a calculation that detects when a stock is oversold. So you look for stocks that have tanked really quickly and you want to like grab them real quick, hoping they reverse to the mean, right? So once you have your strategy and you have your data, you want to back test your strategy against 
historical data to see what would have happened, right? And so there's Python libraries like Backtrader and Zipline that let you apply your strategy to a historical data set and see and emulate like a broker and what would have happened if you applied your strategy to that data set. And once you're happy with that result, you actually execute your strategy. And with Robinhood and other companies recently dropping commissions, uh, you have companies like Alpaca now and TD Ameritrade that provide APIs that let you trade commission free. So you can execute trades over and over again without paying commission fees. And so you can actually build a bot with AWS Lambda or your chosen web framework and execute trades that work with your money, all right? And so uh, it's a quick talk, so I don't have time to go into them all, but I've created a GitHub uh, account called Hacking the Markets with a variety of these strategies and I actually coded them out in Python. And so I've shown moving averages, volatility spikes, uh, web sockets, and TradingView, which is, uh, is another uh, platform that uses uh, webhooks to execute trades. Uh, and real quick, I'm just gonna pull up an example of the items I talked about. So one strategy. And so this is using uh, Python and Backtrader, which is a backtesting framework. And what I've done is from Yahoo Finance with Y Finance, I downloaded 20 years of S&P 500 stock data. I loaded it here and it loads it into a Pandas data frame. I emulated a stock broker. So I gave it an initial cash balance of $100,000. And then I applied a strategy class and ran that strategy. And so my strategy is defined in this golden cross strategy. I defined some crop moving average crossovers, very common uh, strategy used. And you just give it some rules for when this crossover happens, uh, when to buy and when to sell, right? And then you run that and I run it from the command line and it gives me all the dates that I would have bought the S&P 500. And you can see, you know, it conveniently, conveniently uh, all right, so it plots it as well. And so you can see over this 20-year uh, time frame, uh, it plots a green arrow here when it would have entered. So this crossover is when it would have entered. And then this red triangle is when it would have exited. And so you can see the nice thing about this uh, trend detection here is like 2007, right? It sold stocks right there when the trend started down. And then it didn't re-enter until after the financial crisis and you dodge that fear, right? And then you re-enter. Uh, and so, yeah, it just shows you, uh, if you started with $100,000, it shows your, your, your buy and sell points based on your strategy. And you see that this account grew to $328,000, which is pretty good. Uh, so, but what you'd wanna do is actually compare this to what would happen if you bought, uh, bought and held, right? So uh, there's a million strategies you can apply. That's just a simple one, right? And so uh, if you wanna check it out, uh, I prepared, I actually started a whole community on this. So I've created a YouTube channel. It's at Part-Time Larry here. And it's actually growing pretty fast in the past uh, few months. I got 2000 subscribers and it's just all tutorial videos on how to build uh, trading bots. And you can follow me on Twitter and check out uh, this GitHub page. Uh, I'm just posting source code as I learn this stuff and trying to uh, show how other people how to do it. So yeah, that's pretty much, yeah, that's the talk. I hope you enjoyed it and hope you join uh, this community and uh, learn a bit about uh, managing finances with Python. Thanks.